Hi guys, my name is Nako Nakatsuka. I'm a fourth year chemistry PhD student at UCLA, and today I'll be helping you guys out by going over some general chemistry concepts. And good luck with the course. So I briefly wanted to introduce Howard projections to you guys as well, since we went over Fisher projections in a previous slide. And so remember, Fisher projections show sugars and their open chain conformations, but Howarth projections are used to depict sugars in their cyclic form. After this particular Fisher projection is folded, and you create this acetal bond to create the alpha form and the beta form. So Howarth projections are a very convenient way to show the stereochemistry, but it doesn't provide realistic depictions of the conformation. So this is just a simplistic way of drawing a 3D structure that is a cyclic monosaccharide, but just keep in the back of your mind that it's not necessarily a realistic depiction of the actual conformation. So I also wanted to mention furanoses, which is another form of monosaccharides. And so carbohydrates that have a chemical structure that includes a five-membered ring system consisting of four carbons and one oxygen atom creates these furanoses. And so the name is derived from a similarity to furan, which looks like this. So it looks very similar, but furan has two double bonds. And so furanoses are often found in DNA, for example, in deoxyribose. Uh, uh.